Uh, just in your hand. Hold it up. Let me see it. That's that baseball with the, it says, Tommy, best wishes, Yogi Berra on it. I was hoping you could tell me the story. You've told me so many times about how uh, Yogi Berra gave you the baseball at uh, when you were working at the country club. Well, the story really is that Yogi, for some reason, I'm talking now about Yogi Berra, the Hall of Fame catcher for the New York Yankees. Yogi thinks that I am the one that got him the membership at the country club. Uh huh. This is the White Beaches Golf and Country Club. And actually, I really didn't have anything to do with it. He had a member that had the, I don't know what to say, uh, the uh, clout or the authority to pull strings to get Yogi in. And for some reason, Yogi thought that I was the one that did it. I, I don't know why, unless the, the man was embarrassed because he overstepped his uh, authority and uh, pushed it onto me. But anyway, Yogi used to come on Monday to play golf at the country club. And quite often he would bring one of his teammates so that he would have, if he couldn't get a member to play with him, he would, he would have a companion. And uh, the thing that I remember most was uh, one of his uh, associates that he brought, I think it was Joe Pepitone, but I'm not absolutely sure. But the reason it sticks in my mind is they came on a Monday when the club was closed, when the Greens people would be doing heavy uh, cutting. So it really wasn't very much fun for them because these big mowers were out on the course. And the refreshment stand was closed because there were no regular customers there. So I always said to Yogi, be sure you bring some water out because if it's on a hot day, the fountains will be off, the snack bar will be closed. So we keep a lot of empty uh, milk bottles here that are washed out for the workmen to use. When you guys go out, you better carry uh, some water because it's a hot day and it's a long day. And one of the uh, players, and again, I think it was uh, the first baseman, the Yankees' first baseman at that time, he took a little offense. He says, say, Yogi, who the hell is this guy ordering us around saying that we have to bring water? And I said to him, again, I don't remember who it was, I'm not ordering you around. I'm trying to do you a favor because you're going to get out there and it's a hot day and there'll be no water. And I know you, you said to him, whoever it was, yeah, shut your mouth, keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, this guy won't let us play. Oh, and then the guy, whoever he was, he's, he did shut up. He didn't realize that it was up to me to let them out. No. I always liked Yogi. He was, uh, of course, a great player. But he was not that well educated. He was a D's those guys. But he had two wonderful young sons, Dale Berra. Gee, and I've forgotten the other fellow's name. Very nice uh, young young men. He used to come up and swim in while Yogi was out playing golf, swim in the pool. And of course his uh, his wife Kara, I think, would be watching the boys. You know. But I guess it was Joe Pepitone. Who the hell is this guy telling us what to do? And Yogi says, no, shut your Jago mouth or something like that. I don't know if that's a bad word in Italian, but uh, that's the word he used. And he, Yogi was Italian. But he was a, a wonderful player. I'm sure he's a Hall of Fame player. He was a 
World Series player. But he had his, uh, his own little uh, franchise at the country club. <laughs> not everybody liked him because not everybody was a Yankee fan. But he had two wonderful boys. I know Dale was one, and I can't think of the other guy. And they were young golfers, but uh, potentially very good golfers in the moment. Yogi was not a good golfer. He, he loved to hit the ball hard and hit it far, but he didn't have the touch that he needed to be a good golfer. So that's my memory of Yogi, and uh, this is the baseball that he gave to me for being a friend, and he put on it uh, to Tommy. Best wishes, your friend Yogi Bear. Yeah, I think that's what it says. I can't quite make it out. Thank you. Fade out. <laughs>